repeat reporting fact. Am I making videos every day now? Oh my god. What the fuck's going on? Am I a daily vlogger? Not, not happening. Not happening at all. All right. So what to report on today is like, you guys really like the destroying of the VHS cassettes. And I love to destroy them because they're garbage. But, um, so, uh, somebody made a comment. A lot, I know a lot of you watch my videos that don't usually make comments, but you watch my videos. And one such person that made a comment that doesn't usually make a comment, but when they do, it's always a great comment, is Soft Otaku. He's in Japan, and he makes great videos. Not that often, but they're pretty long, and usually a good story and good pickups and stuff. And he, he's in Japan, so you see some really cool stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> he made a comment saying, uh, this just in, Macarena and potty training videos, a new rarity. Get them if you can. Because <laughs> I ran over them all with the forklift. I didn't. Tajison did. He's a 19-year-old kid at work from Sri Lanka. He's hilarious. And he loves to drive the forklift. He fucking loves it. So then uh, I think Matt Hooper Hopper made a video. And then Safu Taku made a, a remark to him. And then I made a comment. And then he said, I need to make a video of you driving the forklift. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, not a problem. And then I said, I'm like the forklift master. And I'm like, I could pick up a quarter. I used to bet people I could pick up a quarter off the floor with a forklift. Everyone's like, fuck, no, you can't do that. Yes. Yes, you can. And I did it with a toonie, mostly because you guys probably haven't seen uh, Canadian coins and a loonie's like kind of ugly. The toonie's a better looking coin. And so I taught to Jason to do it. Taggy, we're going to call him Taggy. He's going to start a gaming video soon. He's going to play like Call of Duty or I don't know what the fuck he's going to play. And he's gonna, I told him, well, like, yeah, and then get a good microphone. He's like, oh, no, I'm not going to talk. And I'm like, no, you got to talk on your videos. Or like, no one's going to watch. Maybe. I don't know. I don't make gaming videos, but whatever. So without further ado, here's to Jason how I taught him or how to pick up a toonie off the floor with a forklift. It's possible. And go. Okay, picking up a toonie with a forklift. Just perfect. Lift it. There it is. Perfect. So that's, that's basically how you do it. Plus there was some obvious bonus footage of destroying stuff. Cause I was like, let's destroy these things. Nobody's going to buy them. I thought we were taking them, smashing them with hammers and throwing them in the garbage bin. Like pff, my job is awesome sometimes. And it's just like, this is more fun and, and very good and creative to do it like that. So that was it. All right. So no scratcher. Oh my God. I don't know what the fuck the door's open. Am I getting allergies? Nobody knows. So, and anyways, next thing I want to talk about is about, I don't know, two months ago or whatever, I did a podcast with JCAU99 and Burning Toys, uh, Josh and Rich, and um, we talked about, like, a lot of stuff on the podcast. I don't know if we talked about this in the podcast or if we were just talking on Skype to, like, organize things for, like, when we we're going to do it. And uh, Josh asked me, he said, you mentioned in one of your videos that you were removing some of your old videos. And he's like, why would you do that? Like, once you put it out there, it should be out there forever. And I said, I go, like, some of my old videos, like everyone's, I guess, when you start, are kind of, like, shitty and embarrassing and you don't know what you're doing really kind of thing. And, um, and I go, so, basically, I think, like, if someone's, like, oh, like, watched one of my videos and then said, oh, I want to go back to watch like, the early ones, and you catch one that's, like, really shitty or whatever, you're going to be like, I'm not going to subscribe to this guy. Or if it's the first video you ever saw of mine, and it was like really bad lighting and shitty and stuff like that. You might be like really turned off. So I remember saying that and then Josh saying, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Like that could happen, you know? So it, it, that example was perfect for what happened to me a couple of days ago, which was so weird because like I'm part of this community. I, I, I like gamers watch me. People that do like in, the air and freeze watches me that does claw videos. Some other claw people watch me and uh, campers, people live in their vans. My friend Andrew lives in a U-Haul. Let's not mention that. 
and uh, just people in general, older women, younger kids, people that collect stickers, and all, got a, a very, I have a very vast variety of subscribers. And I know who the hardcore ones are because they subscribe and whatever. So I was watching an I Justine video. She's at the Daytona 500 and she's very hot, very cool. Her sister, I watch her sister Jenna too. And they make pretty cool vlogs every day, you know? And I just seems like pretty much the biggest female YouTuber besides like Jenna Marbles and stuff, who's really funny too. And uh, so I made a comment, I was like one of the earlier commenters on one of her videos. I made a comment about like uh, something, I don't know, whatever. And then I got some thumbs up and whatever. And then uh, someone wrote a comment saying, oh my God, the driver of that car looked like Shay Carl. I don't know if you know Shay Carl, it was Shay Tars. And I was like, fuck, I thought that when I saw the video too. So I wrote back the comment of the person. I said, oh my God, I thought that too. I should have made that comment. Great comment. I was very really positive with the person. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I don't remember. And then I said, check out my videos. Just like, you know, what the hell? Why not? Self-promotion, you know? Selfless self-promotion. Oh my God. I get back a fucking, like, uh, a comment to my comment. And it says... Your lighting is terrible. You're not funny. You're a 40-year-old loser, like, thinking you're cool making YouTube videos. Um, your intro looks like it's from Monsters, Inc., I think they said. And I was just like, what the fuck? So I'm like, all right, like, you checked me out. I'll check you out, you know? So I go look at this person's thing. They don't have any videos. They have eight subscribers. And I'm like... I go, I then I send a comment back saying, you know, at least I have content. And I go, I don't know what fucking video of mine you watched, but like check out a newer one or whatever. And then like, you know what? Just stop. And like, at least I try, like, what the fuck do you have besides nothing? And then that was my comment. Oh my God. There's all these comments underneath like, whoa, burn, whoa, whoa. I went, the guy wrote checkmate at the end of the comment or the girl wrote checkmate, like checkmate, like I win. And I, like, I was like, this is not a game. Anyways, I should have, I should have like, taken screenshots and showed you. But I was like, so taken aback. Like, what video did you watch that was so shitty? And I'm like, there's many, many. So that's why I remove videos that I don't like. Because that's it. So I watch this one of your videos, like old video, just to see like whatever. And they get a shitty one, they're not subscribing. Try to keep your best videos that you can have. And when you remove video, you lose... You lose your views for it, and views is what makes you money. I haven't made a cent off YouTube because I can't. I'm in Canada, and it's fucking hard. I have to go talk to my bank because they won't allow like somebody that they don't know to to inject to like inject to like put money in my account, and uh, it's it's a fucking disaster. I already talked to them once, and they're like, "Well, we don't know what AdSense is," and I'm like, "It's fucking Google. You have more money than your fucking bank, bitches." They're all women at the TD Bank. I don't know why. I didn't call them all bitches. So you're very good. You're going to help me out, aren't you? Anyways, I go out. This video of, yeah, picking up a toonie is that simple with a forklift. Learn to do it, and uh, you can make all kinds of money. I used to bet people lunches. There used to be like a canteen or the, tr the food truck, and there was always St. Hubert Barbecue, which is like a delicious barbecue place. And I'd be like, if I could pick this quarter up off the floor with the forklift, you owe me a fucking barbecue dinner at the St. Hubert's or the canteen. They're like, yeah, no problem. Like, I'd be like, eh, thanks. Like, no fucking way you did that. I'm like, yes. Free lunch for me. Like, I'm the best. Bye. Oh, God. I hate filming on my phone.